So in this video, I'm going to share with you some pricing strategy secrets so you can maximize the price of your home when selling. So you might have seen another video of mine where I go over something called three-tier pricing strategy that I made up and use in my team every single day. Now this strategy covers the way I price every single home on the market. And what it includes is basically every home has a high value number, a medium value number or average number, and a low number. Now most homeowners are going to want to price their home at the high number because they're thinking they want to maximize the price of their home. But in this strategy, I actually am against that because when you overprice a home, buyers are going to be turned away from that home. So what do I recommend doing instead? Most agents follow the category of going with the average or that medium number, but I actually don't recommend doing that as well. I recommend going with the low number. Now you might be thinking, hold up Lauren, that sounds terrifying. Why would I ever want to do that? Because it kind of messes with people's minds. By people, I mean buyers. When a buyer sees a home that is going for a little bit of a lower price, they think, huh, that's weird. Their mind starts turning and they think, okay, I need to see this home instantly. Like what's going on? On here something must be wrong here so then you're creating a buzz in the marketplace and this is why i love this strategy so so much because it always works now if you price that home at that low number and you're not getting that traction that you want you're not getting a bidding war you're not getting multiple people into the property then that low number wasn't the actual low number that was probably that average or medium number so i always say if you're not getting a bidding war on the home you're definitely not leaving money on the table because that means that buyers don't perceive your home to be worth that price so i really do believe there should always be some type of bidding war or multiple interest between multiple buyers. So that's why I love this strategy so much. And I know that it's hard to go with that low number, but I want you to keep in mind that that low number should drive that price up to that medium number, which is where most homes sell or even beyond it. Meanwhile, if you go right on that medium number, you could get lucky and you could get a buyer right away that is very interested in your home, but you can also get unlucky depending on where the market is and your home could get a little bit stale and just lost in the shuffle. And this is why I don't love going with that medium number and I love going with the low number. I know it's scary, but I highly recommend using this strategy. Also, just to add into this video too, some homeowners don't like to actually sell on the market and they want to try to sell off market. Now this can be done and there are even some record breaking sales that took place off market in all markets across the world. However, I don't really love this strategy because I think that if you really want to sell your home, you're going to be able to put your home out there for everyone to see and market it in the right way. And I think it's a little bit harder to do that when it's off market. So this is my number one secret for getting homes sold. I love this strategy so much. And it might sound a little bit simple, but it does, it does work. Now I would love to know in the comments, would you be okay with going with that low number when listing your home on the market? There is no wrong answer. And as always, I just love hearing from you guys.